I grew up in a small town in Indiana. My dad was a semi-pro wakeboarder. Pretty much all my time spent in my childhood days was on the water wakeboarding. And then that's kind of when wake surfing came around then that I started getting really involved into that around six or so. With the skimboard, I really grew up riding like just one of those skimboards that you'd take to the beach and go skim on. And so that's where a lot of the skim background came from. And so I just spent so much time in Hawaii and that's why I'm super stoked on wake surfing right now is I can kind of take that ocean aspect and put it into the, the wake surfing world and go with my own shape and that's kind of what we've come up here with this board. Every time I translate from this board into like an ocean setup, like the challenge of that is just easy, just like I'm back in the ocean. High voltage bow skimmer, two different rocker lines and one electric construction. His name is Bo Wildman, a waterman in the truest sense. He wanted a more reactive and lightweight laminate than a traditional woven carbon fiber. So we worked with local aerospace suppliers on developing the perfect spread toe fabric. This material is thinner, lighter, and has a much higher tensile strength. The result is a stiffer layup with energy unlike any surfer we have ever made. After we decided on our high voltage core, we then reinvented the skimmer rocker line. This brainchild has a smooth, stable rocker line running through the middle of the board for both riding switch and regular, but also has the ability to jump on the gas unlike any other board due to its fast rocker line. 